Benvenuti tutti. Welcome everyone, as we say in Italian. The Art Collectors Guild selection for you now is Antonio Giovanni Canale, who was known as Canaletto, his canal San Marco, with the Piazza San Marco. The original of this is in the Louvre Museum in Paris, France. Canaletto was born in Venice in 1697, and he died there in 1768. His father was an artist who painted the scenery at the Opera House, and as a young boy, Giovanni apprenticed to him. Giovanni had a love of his opulent, beautiful city, Venice, on all those lagoons. He loved the architecture. He loved the way the light played. He had a really artistic talent, and he became a great painter. And his paintings that he did were known as vedute, or capriccio. Vedute means scenes, or to see. And you can see how, in the various pieces, he captures the light, and he captures the buildings. Look at this building. Look at how ornate it is. He gets all of this on there. Capriccio, capriccio means whimsy. And whimsy was a wonderful thing for that time because, you know, in those days when he was painting in the 1700s, well, everything was very classical. It was religious themes. It was Greek mythology. That's how the human was painted, the human being. But when he went whimsy, he wanted to do the people of Venice. He wanted to do the gondoliers and the fishermen and the, the, the merchants of Venice and all the wonderful people. As a matter of fact, if you look at this piece, this is the Canal San Marco. Look at how he captures the light. It shimmers. The actual pieces he's coming down this canal, we're shimmering, we're on the gondolas with the gondoliers. As a matter of fact, the way he keeps our eyes moving around here, well, he keeps our eyes moving by using touches of red. Red in the caps, red in the gondoliers, pantaloons in the gondoliers shirts, red again in, in the fishermen's caps. This keeps our eyes moving all around here. But when we're sailing in a gondola down the canal, we arrive at the Piazza San Marco. And look at this lovely lady in pink. She's walking up onto the piazza, and she's all dressed in her finery. And she's going to go onto the Piazza San Marco and sit down at one of the cafes and have a Prosecco to drink. Do you know that if we went to the Piazza San Marco today, we could go on to this piazza, sit in the same cafe, and have our drink of, of Prosecco? As we looked around the piazza, look, you can even see the bell tower, the campanile with its green tower on top of it. There it is. It tells us the time. And while we're walking around, and we go past the Cathedrale, or the Cathedral of San Marco, with its two towers, which is why they call it the Piazza San Marco, for this cathedral, we come past the Doge's Palace. And the Doge's Palace, the Doge was the ruler of Venice, but Venice was a republic. Venice was Venezia. Venice, queen of the Adriatic. This is where all the merchants came. This is where all the tourists came. And the Doge's Palace, this beautiful building right here on the canal, this is where he sat. And the Doge would run, the, run these wonderful balls, ballo in maschera, masked balls. We would put on our finery and we'd hope to be invited to these balls. But if we did something wrong, uh-oh, we could end up in this, this building. That's the prison of Venice. Between the Doge's palace and the prison, there's a wonderful bridge. And the prisoner who would go across this bridge would look at Venice probably for the last time. It was called the Bridge of Sighs. But if we were in Venice and we were sighing, well, we're going to sigh because we hope that we get invited to one of these 
bellow in mascara, these masked balls, and we'd put on our finery, so I invite you. Venite con me. Come with me. Come with me e balliamo insieme. Let's dance together. Because we're in Venice. Canaletto's Venice. So remember, as the Italians say, arte e per sempre. Art is forever. Thank you. Grazie.